right well since we got our scale out of the way we're in the key of d major like i said let's go ahead and get started with this first phrase of amazing grace so what i'll do is i'll play this first phrase and just try your best to listen to the notes and then play it back to me as best you can we'll go through it a few times all right so here we go <laughs> This is a popular, very well-known song, so I'm sure you all have it in your head already and in your ear. So when that's the case and you're learning something on the violin and kind of translating it to this instrument, that can be really beneficial to just use what you already know, what you already have in your head to your advantage. So as we're going through, as we're learning these notes, see if you can sort of sing along with what you already know of Amazing Grace and use that to help you through translating it to the fiddle. So if you can tell that a note is a little bit higher and then maybe the next note is a little bit lower or we're coming down a scale pattern or up a scale pattern, use those kind of things to help you out when you're learning by ear. So okay. when it comes to creating a solo, does anybody know anything about taking a solo or what that means within the context of a jam? Or even if you've been to concerts and seen live music, think to, you know, when an instrument takes a solo, what does that mean to you? Can anybody share what that means? Does anybody know any ideas? I'm sure somebody has an idea of what a solo is. Uh, it's yeah, usually melody. somebody playing with bit having backup. Yes, right. So you're playing with having backup. Um, Larry says melody. Exactly. Yeah. So you're basically playing the melody, but it's not the melody note for note necessarily. It could be, but a really good solo involves a little bit more than that, right? It involves a little bit of creativity. You wouldn't necessarily want to go to a concert where the singer sings the song and then passes it off to the fiddle player and they play exactly what was just sung. That's kind of boring, right? There's nothing really special or interesting about that. That doesn't really take a whole lot of creativity. So in simple terms, I guess the solo is really just a variation on the melody. That's really all that it comes down to. It's just a variation on the melody. And this is something that you can find in classical music even. Um, you know, Mozart has written symphonies and quartets and solo pieces that he, you know, has written the theme. And then there's a variation on the theme and you have different parts depending on the tune, but you can kind of hear that main theme or that main melody woven throughout the piece no matter where you are, you can kind of recognize that melody and that main theme. So that's what, really what we're talking about here in the case of coming up with a fiddle solo. We want to take this melody, but take it a step or two further, right? So a melody can be, you know, or a solo rather can be as simple as, you know, just changing or adding a note or two, and it can be as complicated as completely changing up the rhythm and completely, you know, adding in a bunch of extra notes right um so it's really as simple or as complicated as you want it to be so it's really all up to the individual who is playing the solo how simple or how complicated or difficult you want it to be okay so it doesn't have to be anything hard it doesn't have to be anything crazy just as long as you're using your creativity to craft something that is coming from you not necessarily written by somebody else Okay, so to give you an example, what I'm going to do here is I am going to play Amazing Grace through just the melody, just like you learned it just now, without anything extra going on, just the melody. And then what I'm going to do the second time is create a fiddle solo based on this melody of Amazing Grace so that you can have an example of what I'm talking about here and what we might want to listen for. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, one, two.
okay? So that's just an example of a possible solo that you could do. And again, you know, you could probably still hear the melody in there, right? You could still tell that you were listening to Amazing Grace, but it was just with a twist, right? Just with a little bit of a variation on that main theme that everybody recognizes. So that's the goal. And like I said, it can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be.